Hello guys, uh, so today I'm going to show you how to update uh, the firmware for the M27Q Gigabit Monitor. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward process, it doesn't take a lot of time. So um, what you need to do first, you want to go to the manufacturer website. Okay, and uh, choose the appropriate file based on the revision that you have. I have a video showing how to determine what revision version you have. So if you have a revision 1.0, go to the support and download the 1.0. If you have a revision 2.0, click on revision 2.0, go to the support, choose the firmware. Right now it's at uh, version 7. Click download. While you're there, you may want to down download the OSD sidekick utility. Okay. After you download the files, go to the download folder and extract them. It's a zip folder, so you want to extract that. Okay. Our next step will be actually to connect the monitor through an upstream USB cable uh, to the computer. Uh, so the firmware update, updating program can communicate to the monitor. So after doing that, I go to your extracted firmware files and just uh, double click uh, on the extracted file. And the updating process is going to start. Uh, I've already updated the firmware, so I'm not going to do that again. You just click OK. And the process is going to take, I remember when I did it, it took about 12 15 minutes, so keep that in mind. Okay, after you update the firmware, uh, do exactly the same thing with the OSD Sidekick app. You extract everything, okay, and double click on the updating package file. And uh, OSD Sidekick software is going to install in your computer. It's a pretty neat one. It actually allows you to change the settings for the monitor and also check on the firmware version. So after installation and running it, I already have it installed and running, just open it. And what you want to do first, you want to go to About and it's going to give you the model name, the build date and also it's going to give you the firmware version. So you want to make sure you are an F07. Uh, just go for it. You can change the set settings from the monitor from here. Uh, choose any color variances settings you want and also from the general settings you can choose the resolution and the refresh rate so if you like 170 it's right here 165 100 whatever it's your liking after the firmware update another thing you may want to check right and also you can check all this change all the settings from there you may want to go to Windows settings and again you're going to see the color profile here instead of a generic monitor you're going to have the M27Q you can change the refresh rate and the resolution from here too just go to the advanced display settings and you're going to have this two right here which you can change them okay also you can do it from the NVIDIA control panel Again, the name of the monitor after the firmware update is not going to be generic, it's going to be M27Q and you're going to see the name here, all right? And you can change the refresh rate from here too, okay? And another place you want to uh, make sure that uh, the firmware and the driver was installed properly, you go to the device manager, you go to the monitors and again over here, instead of generic, should be the gigabit m 27q so this is how you do it uh, it's pretty simple uh, keep in mind uh, gigabit made a change uh, the monitor for more right now it's not updated anymore for the OSD sidekick problem you, uh, program used to be done through there right now it's actually an executable program that you double click so Pretty simple. Go to the Gigabit website based on the revision that you have. If you have revision 1.0, download a revision 1.0 firmware. If you have revision 2.0, download the 2.0. Uh, 
extract the file make sure your monitor is connected for the desk desktop or for an upstream usb cable it's like a printer usb cable uh, your monitor came with that uh, double click on the executable update the firmware after that install the osb os uh, this sidekick go to the about make sure the firmware version was updated the proper way and like i said go to the display settings um, nvidia or amd settings and uh, uh, make sure that the name of the monitor is listed at m20 as m27q and not as a uh, generic monitor i uh, hope that uh, i hope this info helps uh, if you have questions uh, feel free to shoot me a message Take care, guys. Bye.